Welcome, you beautiful souls. I've missed you all. I will you all are healthy, happy, strong, and protecting your peace. I send peace, love, and light to each and every one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in and tapping in. This is going to be a general re uh, reading for my beloved Scorpio Collective. Um, I feel really, really um, balanced. I feel more grounded than I did in the past two weeks. So I felt encouraged to do this reading for you all today. Um, I hope this video reaches you in good spirits. Uh, I will that you all have been doing your due diligence to keep yourselves grounded, balanced, and in alignment. Um, I welcome anyone that may be new. My name is Q. I too am a Scorpio. I channel messages intuitively. I am an empath and I am also clairaudient. So you will hear music playing in the background and those messages tend to blend beautifully with what comes out in the tarot cards as well as what I am channeling intuitively. Um, what we have playing right now is we have Jill Scott and this is called When I Wake Up. So I really feel for many of you all, you've had some sort of wake up call. I feel like you saw something for what it truly was. I also feel like someone is finally waking up to the truth um, of how they may feel about you or maybe you're just having this new grand beginning where you're seeing everything uh, completely different. You're seeing it with a completely different lens. Uh, it's almost like brighter days are ahead. You're more optimistic. You know, I feel like the light of the sun is illuminating um, and it's bringing clarity. It's bringing truth. And it's also bringing that sense of power um, knowing to own your power, knowing, knowing to stand in your power. Um, I feel like with wake up, I feel someone is having a wake up call, uh, some sort of epiphany or an aha moment, perhaps to their feelings towards you, how they feel, or maybe even their behavior towards you. Um, this is someone who's, uh, probably had you kind of like mine upped in the past maybe they were gaslighting um and maybe unbeknownst to them it's like they're now receiving some sort of like karma for the way that they may have treated you so now there's this wake-up call now there's this uh this epiphany or there's this sense of self-awareness unlike any other time before so maybe someone, when they first wake up in the a.m., you're the first thought in the a.m. and the last thought in the p.m. Before they go to bed, you're the last thought. And in the a.m., when they wake up, you're the first thought. I'm getting a sense of that as well. Um, but that's what I'm picking up intuitively. So I want to say thank you so much for tuning in, tapping in. Um, if you are new here, my spiel is eat the fish, spit out the bones. So if my readings do not apply, just let it fly by. Do not try to force my story to be your story. Do not try to force a reading to be your reading. If it doesn't apply, let it fly by. You might want to check your other placements to see what, you know, other, um, you know, what other messages might be coming out for you. Um, if you are unaware of what your other placements may be, you could click the link below. Uh, that says natal chart, get your natal chart or something to that effect. And you would just follow the instructions on that site and it will generate your natal chart, which will provide for you, um, you know, the details of what's in your, your, um, your, your birth chart. Okay. Um, these are also timeless readings. So whenever you find yourselves clicking on the video, that was the divine timing intended for you all to do so. Um, so let's go ahead and get some house cleaning done. I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother, Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful message of love and light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations 
of my cards. And so it is. So mote it be. Ashe, ashe, ashe. So now we have Patrice Russian and she's singing Remind Me. So someone feels um, very nostalgic. They're thinking of you. Um, you're reminding them of better times. They're having these fond memories of you. I was picking up with the former song that was playing um, that there was a sense that someone wakes up and you're the first thought of the day or when they go to bed you're the last thought when before they um, rest. So it's like someone's having these very nostalgic memories. Um, it's There's obviously no contact, no communication. Um, I feel that there's uh, there could have been a disagreement of some sort and maybe now somebody's having a wake-up call. I was picking up on someone going through some sort of karma. Um, maybe their mistreatment of you, they're paying for that. Maybe something they've said, they're eating those words. You know what I'm saying? They have to almost like um, reap what they sowed in a sense. Uh, but there is memories, uh, fond memories. I keep hearing the word fond. So someone's having these fond memories. Someone's finally um, waking up to who you are, to what you represented in their lives. Um, because I'm hearing not only do you remind them of better times, fond times, but you are a reminder of what love is. You are the very definition, the very embodiment of love. So this person is really, really um, just feeling um, almost remorseful, almost shame, almost regret. Um, and I'm hearing agonizing. Uh, there's a sense that this person is really desiring uh, to communicate or to apologize or to extend some sort of olive branch. But for now, they're just living in their head. Um, they could be suffering from insomnia. Uh, maybe they're having dreams uh, and these dreams feel so lucid. They feel so real. And then they wake up to the disappointment of it just being a dream. Um, but that's what I'm picking up intuitively. We're going to start off with the uh, numerology deck. So I see manifestation here on the bottom of the deck. Uh, someone could be trying to manifest you. Uh, maybe you're feeling um, someone's energy um, heavily right now, Scorpios, because you are psychics. You all are high priests and high priestesses. So you have um, that ability to really tap into the energy. There's a knowingness. Um, and I feel like your intuition and your your psychic abilities are unmatched. So it's like you are almost fully aware uh, that someone thinks of you and dreams of you um, and carries you in their spirit. Uh, and you're picking up on that energy um, very intensely um, because these thoughts are frequent. These are frequent thoughts. It's not like, oh, you'll pop up in their head and then you know, in a couple months, they'll think about you again. It's like every single day. Like I said, when they wake up, we had Jill Scott, when I wake up. So you're the first thought when they wake up. And I feel you're the last thought when they rest to go to bed at night. Um, and with these memories, you reminding them, um, I just feel like they are almost feeling, um, you know, melancholy, uh, a little, you know, saddened by um, the separation, you know. But with this manifestation, they could be trying to manifest you. Um, I also feel you all are master manifestors. So whatever it is you're thinking, you're going to create. It's going to manifest in this physical reality. I feel during this full moon, something is going to blossom. Something is coming in and it's a wish fulfillment. It's a stroke of luck. It is an answered prayer. There is some sort of reward or some sort of blessing coming in. I feel it's because you are on, um, you've come out of that dark night of the soul journey, uh, unscathed, uh, stronger, wiser, um, just more. E I just feel like you've emerged someone completely different. So there's this transformation. I'm seeing uh, we have Erica Badu playing um, and the name of the song is called Other Side of the Game. So I do feel like you made it out of a very difficult time, a very dark time. I feel there was a lot of heartache and loss, pain, um, and it was because you were disappointed. You may have been taken for granted. Uh, there could have been mistreatment, lies, deception. I was feeling a lot of gaslighting. Someone was 
probably being deceptive in the past uh, and now they're having this wake up call of just how unfair you know they treated you you know and so now they're going through karma um, on this Erica Badu album cover uh, she has butterfly wings this is from the Erica Badu live album and so I do feel someone is seeing acknowledging your transformation you have gone through a major change in your life and it was caused by someone who could have been very callous uh, with your heart very careless also with your heart um, very deceptive you know and so now on the flip side because we have other side of the game on the flip side of that now you've emerged someone completely different um, you've gone through that that cycle and you've learned the lessons as necessary and now that you have learned the lessons you may be showing up in the world as very confident um, very strong very attractive um, very independent and self-sufficient and I feel now whatever you're experiencing it's like an, a wake-up call 1111 just showed up on the card so I feel now you're going to be attracting everything that you are embodying now so you're going to attract your yin to your yang or your yang to your yin uh, that divine counterpart that kindred spirit that soulmate that twin flame whatever you want to call it I feel now you're more susceptible to attracting that to you because you are master manifestors as I said what you think the most of you create I feel you live in someone's mind constantly they're thinking of you so you're picking up you're in you're energetically picking up on someone um, someone's energy because they're carrying you in their spirit on the other side of this whatever they may have made you feel um, I feel they're now feeling there's almost like a mirror that you're holding up to this person uh, and they're now able to see the reflection back they're able to see themselves as they were and this is someone from your past. I just saw 1212. Now they're trying to figure out how to manifest you because they do feel that you are wish fulfillment. I also feel like, as I said, they're getting some sort of karma uh, for the way that they've behaved. So we have financial discipline and we have manifestation. So many of you are manifesting some sort of success. Um, I do feel like you are um, counting every penny. Um, you're being more um, mindful of where your money is going I feel like you're investing more I feel like you are um, perhaps you know working on your savings maybe you're um, doing or writing out some sort of will or maybe you're writing out your uh, setting up like life insurance um, but I feel like whatever you're doing there's discipline here you had to learn um, how to be independent uh, because I feel in a former relationship there could have been a sense of someone being very controlling um, someone really uh, kept you in a spirit of lack uh, they could have caused a lot of financial strain um, in the relationship maybe they couldn't hold a job or maybe they was always like you know bouncing from job to job to job so you never really felt secure or stable in that connection and now this is like a priority for you um, where you're focused on your stability your security um, that's just like that root chakra energy uh, it's about really you know making sure that you are feeling safe you're feeling a sense of um, you know security within not only uh, yourself but in your relationships in your career choice uh, whatever it is you're doing you're making sure that there is some sort of um, stability uh, so I do feel like there's a focus on your coins. Maybe some of you all are looking to, um, you know, to apply for jobs, paying more, uh, paying you more. Maybe you're looking for some sort of promotion. But I just see that there's, you know, very wise uh, money management going on. You're being very wise with your money. Um, you're saving, you're stashing, you're paying off any debts. So let's see what's coming and going out going on for my beloved Scorpios. 
So the other side of the game, I feel like somebody who is trying to play games is also now on, like I said, it's the flip side. So it's almost like roles reverse. So it's like where you were feeling pain and agony from someone trying to play you like boo boo the fool. I feel like now someone is now obsessed with you. You know, um, like I said, regrets, remorse, um, thinking of you heavily. There's almost like obsessive thoughts, um, very obsessive thoughts. And now it's almost like the player um fell in love you know the player got bit by the smitten bug almost it's like you know the player player from the himalayas fell for you you know so let's see what's coming and going out going on so i got a couple of cards that want to be expounded on see spirituality so you someone that what did i say about when you change your vibration and energy and you work on yourself you're gonna attract what you are so i feel like you're attracting someone who is just a spiritual who's gone through the same dark night of the soul journey. They have similar life experiences. So this person is mirroring you. You both are highly intuitive. You both are spiritual practitioners. They could be someone very psychic as well as you. So it's like they communicate with you telepathically or there will be a strong mental connection. Um, very cerebral connection, very stimulating conversations, very deep conversations. Like this person is deep as an abyss. Like this is someone that is going to match your vibration, your fly, your energy in all aspects. Um, because this person is just as spiritual, spiritually strong as you. Um, I feel this person is going to rush in um, very quickly, very unexpectedly, whoever this is. I feel like they are longing to communicate. You know, uh, this is someone who's uh, really wanting because I see seven, seven, that's 14, that's five. So this person really knows, um, I feel like they are going, they know how to stimulate you. They know that you Scorpios are very cerebral. Um, you like depth. You don't, you don't like anything shallow. Um, so it's like the, and they, they meet that expectation. They meet that requirement, I should say. So let's see what flew out. So we have teaching and learning. So what did I say about you holding up a mirror to someone and they're seeing their own reflection and this 57 reduces to 12. So not only have they seen you um, go through those growing pains um, and elevate and level up, uh, but you've also graduated into divine feminine, divine masculine status. That's why they're learning from you because it's like whatever they did to destroy you, to break you, whatever they did that hurt you, that caused pain, whatever they did that caused that tower moment, it's like they've watched you literally um, rebuild from the ground up. Um, and you are now in this divine feminine energy, the empress energy. So you reinvented yourself, you recreated or recalibrated um, and just regrouped uh, ultimately. And now they see you as someone very attractive, uh, someone very powerful, someone owning their power, as I said, someone very abundant and successful. Um, this is someone who's a creative, someone artistic, someone who hones their skills, gifts, and talents. Uh, you could have a business, you could be running a business. Fortune 500, I heard. Some of you all may be blessed to have a Fortune 500. Um, some of you all just have a very successful business in and of itself. Um, you have a lot of returned clients. So it's as if you are anointed. It's like you're, you, it's your birthright to live in abundance. And this person now sees that. What we have playing now is ramp, and this is called come into knowledge. So as I said, someone's now coming into knowledge, meaning they're now learning, but they see you as someone very spiritually strong. They see you as a master manifester. Remember we saw that eight manifestation. So you're manifesting everything you desire. You're also seen as nurturing, um, very attentive, very loving, very caring. And this is again, this wake up call that that person is having because they had the empress all along and they let that empress slip away. So now they're coming into knowledge about the depth of this connection, the depth of their feelings, and even that you are an earth angel, you are very precious, very rare. So we have abundance. So the eight, eight, now we see eight, eight. So you are absolutely, undubitably um, receiving some sort of uh, emotional, this looks like emotional fulfillment. You're getting an abundance, a plethora 
Uh, give me one moment. My sage just dropped me for that. So this person now sees that you are emotional fulfillment. Um, I also feel that this being, you know, those those, um, you know, repeating numbers. I feel that this is you and that person matching one another's energy. So not only are you manifesting something that is feeling like a wish fulfillment, this is also someone who is realizing they have a lot of love. This is an all pink card. Pink deals with the heart chakra. So there is an emotional connection. Someone's coming into knowledge, um, hence the name of the song, that they have this emotional connection. There's an abundance. There's a plethora of emotional connectivity that they feel towards you. I also feel that the divine is telling you, pay attention to how you feel. Those divine interventions, downloads, transmissions that you're receiving are going to be signs. There's going to be uh, synchronicities or sensations um, that you may have when this abundance of love or emotional fulfillment or even financial fulfillment comes in. But it's coming, it's pouring in. I'm feeling like abundantia energy. With this 16, that's seven, the crown chakra, that's also the chariot. This is going to be rushing in. I do feel a sense of like um, just abruptly. It's just going to surprise you. It's going to be very shocking um, the way this comes in. This is powerful. So I'm keeping these cards because I do feel like it does... Um, correlate with what I'm feeling. So with the spirituality, I um I also feel like a lot of you have been really tuning and tapping in to that side of yourselves. Like, you know, there's been a lot of time uh, where you've been healing, where you've been working um, internally, you know, healing at a soul level, you know, uh, reflecting back on those traumas and and working through those things, opposed to just holding on to the pain, the animosity, the vengeance that you may have felt or the frustration the, and the anger and the hurt and the pain. It's like you're working through that now. You're letting those things go. You're releasing those things. And I feel like it's because the vine is telling you to do so. You know, this is about, you know, tapping into your creativity, tapping into the divinity of the divine feminine and masculine, which is to create. And that's what you've been doing now. That's what spirit has led you to do, because that's what's going to free you ultimately is being creative. Some of you have had blocks, you know, creatively. Some of you have not been able to um, produce in the way that you may have in the past. Maybe you felt, you know, if you are a writer or, or an artist, you may have felt writer's block, you know, but now it's like there is a sense that you are um, coming out of that fog that could have been an effect uh, of the Mercury retrograde as well. Um, you know, just kind of having you feel kind of like a little fuzzy mentally. So we have Anita Baker. This is called Sweet Love. All right. And the name of the album is called Rapture. So some of you all were in the rapture, you know, from a love situation. Spiritual partnership is here. So someone is coming in. This person's in hermit mode. You're in hermit mode. I feel that there's been a lot of work on the self so that when there is an offer presented, it is official. There is no questions. There is no second guessing. It's like it's going to be an official offer because someone realizes um, after going within you know, because th this is giving me like hermit mode, um, you know, energy, you know, where you are, you know, kind of like unplugging, disconnecting, detaching from everything external to self to do internal work. So introspection, intro, uh, reflection, uh, self-analysis, self-awareness, self-discovery um, and healing, more importantly, taking that break um, and also discovering uh, the truth. You know, that hermit is a wizard. So he knows the answers he seeks are found within and someone discovers the truth about this connection, which is that there's a spiritual connection here. You know, we just saw spirituality. And so now we have a spiritual connection that someone feels. And this spiritual connection, as I said, is undeniable. Um, you could have a, a, a physical attraction with anybody, you know, anybody with a big butt and a smile, anybody that's, you know, nicely built tall it's like you know but a spiritual connection is is rare you know that is rare that's a rarity especially in this climate so we have physical activity 67 so i feel like there was some sort of demise of a relationship due in part to someone not taking action someone was really um slow um 
in showing uh, their appreciation or emoting or being vulnerable. There was a, a lack of action. This person was very stagnant, very, you know, I feel also stubborn, you know, there's a sense of stubbornness. And this is a masculine energy because this 67 reduces to 13, um, which is why I said there was a demise, 13 is the death. So that caused the death of this relationship, which ultimately caused the transformation and rebirth for you, Scorpios. And I feel the rapture, you were caught up in the rapture of this love with this person, but things weren't moving. Um, I feel the stagnancy. I feel there was a lack of effort. I feel that someone took you for granted. They didn't appreciate you. I feel like they didn't see your worth and value. And I feel like you ultimately stood erect and said, I'm done. And you may have walked away. But I do feel now that there is a lot of reflection on this connection. Um, someone is starting to realize uh, just how significant or how profound this relationship really was uh, because with sweet love playing, they realized how sweet and tender and caring your love was apart from the rest, apart from perhaps a third party they could have gotten involved in. Um, this was a part of the lesson they had to learn that 57, like I said, reduces to 12, which is three. So there was a third party or some sort of um, significant circumstance which made you feel like you was uh you know the the fifth wheel if you will like you were um you know being breadcrumbed or not appreciated not valued uh this was a teachable moment for you uh as well as for this person because as i said whatever they did to you i feel like now there's a sense that you're reflecting back to them holding up a mirror to them to let them see what they look like. And so they're learning, but they're also learning because now they see your transformation and your growth. You represent death, but death is, you know, the death of an old way of thinking, being, and doing things. Um, death is not allowing yourselves to be uh, victims of, of anyone else or not allowing yourselves to stay in a lack mentality or in a low vibration. It's about emerging someone new, someone stronger, someone wiser, someone who has self-love. And I feel like that's how this person sees you now. We have health here. So this is 71 health. So what's hidden is someone is heavily thinking of you. Um, we have Sade, the sweetest taboo. So it's almost like this person looks at you as taboo um, because perhaps now it's like they have to, I'm hearing eat their words. It's like they're eating their words. It's almost like they're swallowing their pride. Um, and I'm hearing her song, even though Sweetest Taboo is playing, I just heard loudly in my mind's eye, love is stronger than pride. And so with this person, the someone who is like suffering from analysis paralysis, stuck in their head. What did I say about someone feeling remorse and regret, you know, even shame. Um, but I say that because when I see this card, I always think of the eight of swords and I feel there's a lot of mental um, anguish, a lot of mental um, conflict uh, because there's purple here. Purple deals with like the crown chakra. Um, that's the cerebral activity. So I feel like someone's mental health could be really, um, it could be questionable here. It's like they are really confused, conflicted. Um, I feel agonizing. I feel there's also uh, the sense of like, I just hear sufferation. Like someone is is causing themselves pain and it's because they are very proud and egotistical i feel they're also receiving karma you know um and and part of their karma is honestly having to um is thinking of you constantly um not being able to not being able to move beyond this connection um not being able to find someone um that was better maybe they thought there was a a a karmic or a third party was was a better option uh but they're they're quickly learning you know that that was definitely a taboo situation um and now this is where they live in their head um with thoughts of you um maybe realizing you know uh that you are this spiritual partnership uh you know maybe you know that this connection is a spiritual partnership so maybe they, okay, so we have synchronicity. This is the outcome. So with this 87, that 15, that six, there's definitely 
going to be, as I said before, when you are uh, close to receiving something, achieving something, there will be signs and synchronicities. Some of you all are already seeing signs and synchronicities. Maybe you're seeing 666-888-777. I feel like that will be a sign that love is coming or someone that wants to offer you love is coming in. I do feel like you have to pay attention to your own intuition. This 8715 reduces to six. So this is like the divine telling you to use discernment if someone returns. Um, we got relationship change. Someone is definitely leaving another partnership, leaving a situation behind. I feel so that they could go towards what they truly want because we got love partnership and happy ending here on the bottom of the deck. Someone needed to grow up. I feel like someone was in a very low vibrational energy, very childish, emotionally immature, not on your level, um, you know, not on your level of maturation. And I feel like someone had to grow. They had to grow up. You know, this is like the divine is saying that, you know, once someone does this and they get out of their head and they communicate and express what they truly feel and have always felt and just own it, um, then there's an opportunity for this connection. Um, because I get like, you know, with synchronicity, I feel like this is like harmony, balance. Um, this is like that yin yang energy. You know, that's what synchronicity is about. So you and this person energetically, emotionally are synchronized. You know, I feel like this is what this is saying. But I also feel like this person has to um, do some more work, you know, um, but they are hoping to come towards you to, you know, perhaps show you how committed they are because there is love. You know, there is a love connection that they wish to to create or develop with you. And I feel like this is going to lead to happy ending because this person realizes you are like, you know, a, a very divine energy. You know your worth, you know your value. We have Ryan Leslie and this is called, Is It Real Love? And so that's what you're gonna be questioning, I feel Scorpios, because you are, um, I feel you're in a very strong Queen of Swords, King of Swords energy um, where you're assessing everything you're analyzing everyone, you're checking for the red flags. Um, you, you're not taking too kindly to anyone trying to play with your emotions or insult your intelligence. So you're doing your due diligence now um, and you're going to be making sure that through this new cycle that you don't fall for the same technology and games that you may have fallen for but in the past. Look at this, we have power, and we have fertility. This is a divine feminine and masculine. So I do feel like, you know, um, you're trusting your intuition. You, you, you are very um, sensitive to energy. So I feel like you'll know uh, what someone's intentions are, um, if they're pure or if they're not. Um, but I feel someone is also a little intimidated by you because they know how intuitive you are. They, they feel like you, you read them. You know, you could see right through them and you can. Um, you can, Scorpio, because you have been tried and tested. You know, you've been probed. The divine has been probing you. The divine has been preparing you. I feel like you have a, a purpose and it is to help others heal, to help others see what they may not have seen before, to help others um, navigate, you know, these difficult circumstances and situations, to help people transition out of toxic relationships and circumstances, um, you know, it's, it's really a powerful energy. I'm feeling like you are an initiate of some sort, you know, especially with this divine feminine, divine masculine energy, that empress energy or emperor energy that I'm picking up. It's like, you know, they are very powerful and they know their worth. They know their value and they are uh, the master. You know, they are master manifestors. Um, so, you know, this is the energy you're in. So you are creative. You are birthing new ideas, new ways of thinking. Um, and so this is very beautiful. So you could be feeling very creative now, like really tapping into your divinity right now. So the bottom of the deck and we have, um, what is that? We have respect. See that someone has gained respect for you. You know, someone has gained a little bit of respect. This could be someone you worked with someone as you, as I said earlier, like you have a history with this person. There's almost like a sense of like, um, you've already have a strong sense of history uh, so there could be you know maybe this is an ex lover or maybe this is someone that you as I said worked with someone definitely I'm hearing someone respects your gangster <laughs> 
Yeah, they respect you because it's like whatever they did to break you, kill you, hurt you, whatever happened, whatever even spelled. Because I even get a sense of like somebody, you know, there was someone doing some sort of candle magic, trying to block some sort of blessing or trying to maybe this is you, you know, doing your due diligence to protect your energy. But it's like it's like they can't do they can't help but respect you. Because of the way that you've bounced back or the way that you landed on your feet or the way that you've taken your power back. It's like they see this resilience in you, this strength, this power. And we have Leela James. This is called My Joy. So they now realize like you brought joy into their life. They also realize like, you know, they respect you for not allowing anyone else to steal your joy. You know, this divine feminine knows her worth. She doesn't need any validation from anyone, anything outside of self. Self-love is an inside job. That's why it's called self-love. Nobody external to you can make you feel any. They shouldn't have the power to make you feel any type of way, you know. And if they do, then that means you just got to do a little more work on you. But I just feel like someone respects the fact that you're not allowing anything external to yourself affect your mood you're protecting your energy you have you're living in a protective bubble and it's because as i said as this divine feminine or divine masculine um you don't need any validation from anyone you you validate yourself enough and they respect that now they didn't see your worth and value in the past also and we have autumn here someone's name could be autumn autumn is our season so i do feel like you know for you scorpios maybe there's some sort of uh birthday gift a blessing that's going to be, um, you know, um, blissed upon you, rewarded to you during your soul return. But I feel like, you know, with this autumn that that speaks to change. So there is some positive changes, emotional fulfillment, financial fulfillment. There's positive things changing. And I feel like it's because, you know, you 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 it's almost like. When you fell out of that tower, it's, it, it, I, I only see this imagery like you, you fell out of the tower and landed on your feet. You know, you landed on your feet and it's one, two, three, four o'clock. So that's that synchronicity here. So it's almost like the vine is confirming and that represent that reduces to 10. So there was a karmic ending, a karmic cycle that came to a close. And I feel like that's why you're going to be receiving some sort of abundance. I also feel someone sees you as wish fulfillment. I also feel someone wants to rush in because they feel this, this, this rush of emotion, this intensity, these emotions of, of, of love. They feel this joy, this, this joy you bring to them. They miss that. And so we have on the bottom of the deck banishment. Didn't I say I felt like spell work with this card? Like maybe somebody was doing some sort of candle magic. Someone was stuck, trapped. Yeah, see this? We have witch here, and it says healer. So you all are definitely healer, shamans, light workers. I feel someone is also uh, healing. You know, someone that really wants to come towards you is also healing. You know, they need a lot of healing because I feel like they've endured a lot. But this is also someone who's um, in the same craft. Like I said, with that spirituality card that showed up in the beginning of the read during the shuffle, I felt like you and this other person that you're attracting to you are both, you know, into spirituality. You're practitioners of some sort, whether you're music musicians and you make very um, you make that woke music, you make that conscious music, you know what I'm saying? Or if you are uh, Reiki healers or, you know, sound bath therapists or sound therapists, it's like there there's a healing um, quality element uh, to this person that's coming in. They are a healer. Same as you. And I feel like this person feels this abundance of love, feels this connectivity, feels this joy when they're around you. And so we have rebirth. What did I say about you all going through major transformations? This rebirth and then the 67, which is 13 physical activity. You've gone through a major change. Someone was treating you very cold. Someone was very cold in their treatment of you. And I feel like you tried everything to keep the flame going. You know, to keep that 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 connection going. But I feel like the, it, it was just one sided. There was a lack of reciprocity. There was a lack of appreciation. I feel like this person didn't appreciate you. And so for what you had to do for you was you had to leave this connection. 
You know, this is the death of this relationship coming to the realization that if somebody doesn't make the time for you, they don't love you. I just saw 3939 and that's six. So that's, you know, someone definitely is reevaluating and assessing how things went in the past because this new you is very attractive, you know, and they've been watching you privately, secretly, you know, admiring you from afar. I get that I spy energy someone who could have access to like your social media accounts, um, not logging into your accounts, but just like maybe they are watching videos if you have a YouTube or if you have a Facebook group or you have a Instagram, a TikTok or whatever, it's like they're watching. They're quietly watching though. And it's like they're also learning from watching you because whatever it is that you are expressing or however it is that you are um showing up in the world they appreciate it and they also realize like they sabotage the connection through a lack of effort through a lack of communicating but you have transformed in this person's eyes they see you as someone who has been been very um diligent in in healing you you've leveled up you've graduated so to speak it's like there's this you know this this ascension thank you spirit and so i see ethos wiccan read so See this? Someone could have someone doing some sort of spell work on them because remember we saw hex here. So what's hidden is someone, um, if you were suffering from some sort of confusion, it's because someone was trying to put, um, they was throwing some sort of psychic attacks, sending psychic attacks, spiritual attacks. If someone that you're attracting is going through something mental, um, they are under some sort of spiritual warfare. Uh, this is someone who could have potentially been dealing with a third party uh, that has uh, turned their wrath towards them because maybe they feel this person kind of um, slowly but surely like relinquishing like like not even relinquishing that's the wrong word but disconnecting detaching from them we have heat wave playing always and forever so this is someone that's trying to keep someone with them forever ever 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 and this person is going through some sort of um, mind uckery, you know, th there's somebody playing dirty here. Cause with Wiccan read, um, this is like the rights. This is like, uh, these are the bylaws, if you will. Uh, when you are a magi, when you are the magician or a witch, it's like you have these set of rules that you are to stay within the confinements of. And when you step outside of that, you're going against you know, the Wiccan read. So I feel someone is going against someone's Wiccan read because um, this hex card is here. So someone is doing some sort of spell work. Someone's trying to keep someone stuck. You know, they want someone to stay with them forever. You know, they don't want anyone to leave. They don't want this person to leave. And with heat wave, I feel things are getting hot. Things are getting intense. So there could be a lot of arguments, but I do feel someone is really trapped mentally, emotionally, feeling stuck, feeling con contained, stagnant. They're, they're, they're definitely under spiritual warfare. This could even be your energy if you felt confused as of late. Some of you all could have also been experiencing like witching hour, like waking up during witching hours. You need to cleanse your home, smudge, clean, clear cleanse mop your floors with ammonia sprinkle a little black salt or even sea salt around your home open up your windows let sunlight into your homes wear your protective jewelry take your spiritual bath do egg cleanses you know let's see what we have somebody's trying to affect your your hap your happily ever after also is what i'm getting this is a jealous energy summertime Something's going to happen in the summertime. Maybe someone will return in the summertime. Spring is here now. So we have imagination, synchronicity. So something you've manifested. This is your mind. This is like that, that ace of um, swords energy. So it's like I said, you know, um, when you set your intention, when you focus your intention, you manifest your, your reality. I also feel like there's a lot of visions um, maybe you're having a lot of dream act activity. Excuse me, I got the hiccups. Give me one moment. Excuse me. 
So you could be having a lot of dream activity at this time. Maybe somebody is having a lot of dreams about you. But I feel like if you keep having the same dream or if you have, I'm hearing, <clears throat> I'm hearing deja vu. My throat is getting blocked. So somebody just dreams of thinking of, of communicating with you. You know, they're, they're, it's almost like they're rehearsing whatever they're going to say. And they fear you being cold. They fear your wrath. Like they fear that you're not going to be um, receptive. I feel like the divine is giving you divine intervention, like telling you, like, look, um, you're going to see this. You're going to see that. You're going to see this or you're going to feel this. And that means someone is coming towards you. And I feel this could last to, you know, last, you know, this could end up as, you know, that happily ever after because we have always and forever. This is a beautiful song, too. I love this song. Let me get one more card to clarify. Thank you, spirit. And we got grounding. And this is what I just had to do. So you need to ground yourselves, you know, keep yourselves in emotional equilibrium balance. So with this synchronicity, we have imagination and remembrance. So this is the same energy. You know, remember we had you remind me playing by Patrice Russian. So someone is reminding, you know, someone is is remembering you. I feel someone also someone's ancestors are guiding them to you, showing them signs and synchronicities. Maybe some of you all are, you know, asking your ancestors, you know, for some sort of wish fulfillment. Maybe you're calling them, speaking, you know, uh, calling upon them. Maybe you're devoting time in front of your altars, connecting with that energy. Maybe some of you all, there's an anniversary date coming up. But with this imagination, I just feel heavily uh, that there's a lot of cerebral activity. That could be why, you know, this, this health card, this mental health. Because when you think too much of something, that's like analysis paralysis. And we have Gerald Albright, Will Downing. This is called Pleasures of the Night. So like I said, dream activity, a lot of dream activity. Someone's having these these lucid dreams, thinking of the past. Yep, grounding. They need to ground themselves. They need to get out of their head, you know, and they need to come back down to reality, get out of la-la land. That's what I'm hearing. My hand is itching. So moolah, baby, where them dollars at? Where the dollar, dollar, dollar. Okay, so let's see what we got. We're going to use Psychic Tarot. So we have positive um, movements forward, so that's a good thing. And this is another 8. So, so far we saw 8, 8, 8, and then 8, because that manifestation card um, was 8 when we first picked up the deck. And so this positive movement forward, to me, this looks like, you know, this is like that 8 of Cups energy. You know, making a decision to leave something that's emotionally draining you, sucking you dry, like that energy vampire is just you're done you know you invested a lot you put a lot of time energy and effort and it still wasn't enough a 47 47 11 11 so you're somebody's moving in somebody's i feel leaving another connection to come towards you because i feel like they're feeling guided to do so you know they, they're following the sun the sun is always illuminating the sun is what's providing you know that clarity that truth that warmth, you know, and also it it's what provides the strength. There's a sense of happiness and joy in this direction, you know, and there's a blue heron on this card. So this is a, a, a protected, you know, move. Someone's being spiritually guided. You know, pleasures of the night. Someone's leaving someone with whom they could have had almost like an incubus succubus relationship. Maybe they are leaving a seductress. Uh, a charlatan or someone who was um, just very it was it was more so like I said before like a physical attraction sexual connection but it wasn't spiritual and someone is feeling you know encouraged and motivated to to move on to leave that behind because there's emotional um, there's a lack of emotional fulfillment and so they want to move on. So this is somebody moving on towards bigger and better. See that? Wish fulfillment here. So there's a blessing here. When someone makes this, this when someone makes that decision to leave something behind, it's because they're going towards what they feel is a wish fulfillment. And I was feeling that someone saw you as a wish fulfillment and you see someone as a wish fulfillment. And I feel like this is going to lead. Yeah, someone's fully aware. 
this is leading to some sort of positive change. You know, someone has to release someone in order to come towards you. And it's, it's requiring a lot of strength because this is not someone who is typically assertive. You know, they kind of like, they're not assertive, they're not communicative, they're not expressive, they're not forthcoming. It's like they live a lot in their head and they repress and suppress feelings and emotions because, you know, maybe they were conditioned to thinking that feelings and emotions was besides them. You know, maybe they felt like, you know, that wasn't very masculine or that wasn't very strong to emote or be vulnerable in a relationship. You know, just miseducation. You know, we all have been misadvised, you know, um, but I do feel like somebody is seeing you now you know, as that divine feminine. Didn't I say someone's learning from you? So it's like you have grown, you know, and the love that you exude, the confidence, the poise, you know, the beauty, the strength. It's like they feel like you are, you know, that yin to their yang. You know, you are someone that they could absolutely build with, grow with, and they want to make an offer. You know, they want to reunite but they know that they have to find balance within themselves. You know, they know that they have to work on healing themselves. That's why they have this healer here because they can't come in and offer you anything if they're still imbalanced, if they're still attached, if they still have, you know, some sort of shadow work that they're doing, but they feel this abundance of love. Maybe they please themselves at night, self pleasure, because we have pleasures of the night, but this person is very attracted to you, but they also want to bring balance, restore the balance between the two of you. So let's see what we have. We have Shannon, let the music play. Someone's name could be Sharon. Someone could have been dealing with a Sharon. So look, a couple of cards just flipped over as I am cutting the deck and we're gonna expound on these. So what did I say about you all suffering heartache and loss? And so this is giving me like three of swords energy, no question. And so you did a lot of internal work. You really went into that hermit mode, isolated yourself and worked on the self. And what I see that's very clear here is, you know, there was a lot of blaming. You were blaming yourself. You know, you were faulting yourself for what happened. You also isolated yourself. You could have went within, went into your shell, but you felt betrayed, hurt, backstabbed, deceived, lied to, you know, just kind of like taken for granted. I feel like someone was just singing you, you know, a lot of like bull, sh sh you know, just just saying a lot of nonsense. This this is showing me that it was a, a lot of mind uckery, because if you look closely, it's like the window where her head is. There's a lot of clouds. So you were very cloudy. You were very much in a space where you were confused. And it was because someone was gaslighting you. Someone was manipulating you. Someone was emotionally, mentally, and spiritually manipulating you. And that's why now they can only respect you because now you're very protective of your energy. You know, now you're very guarded. You've set boundaries. Now you're not just as open, you know, to everyone. You know, you're not just allowing anyone in. And it's because you've learned from those mistakes. You're not going to repeat anything. And so next we have this seven. Didn't I say the chariot? So this person wants to rush in, whoever this person is, once they've healed themselves, once they feel, you know, confident and balanced, as that card said, they're going to come towards you and not just come towards you. They're going to rush in this eight, eight. It's because they feel this abundance of love, you know, and with, let the music play. I just feel like this person, you know, maybe they were hearing certain songs. You know, and that's why synchronicity was here, because it was like they was getting a bunch of downloads from spirit. You know, their angels and ancestors were reminding them of love, reminding them of you. Remember, you remind me, you know, imagination is here as well. So they were having these memories of you. This abundance is how they feel. They want to offer an abundance of love. They want to be giving, you know, whereas in the past they didn't make any action or take any action or you know, make any kind, you know, grand gestures. It's like this time around, they want to, they want to be giving. They want to, they want to provide. This is someone coming in to show you how much they love you. 
This is someone going to be assertive, someone going to be attentive. They're waving this red flag, and I see this as almost like, you know, them trying to, you know, bring peace to the situation. Because red is a, a passionate color. Red is a color of love. Red is also the root chakra. So this is someone that wants to show you, like, they're here for the right reasons. They want to provide the security. They want to provide that stability. This is someone that definitely has had some sort of wake-up call. They want to apologize. I feel like there's an apology. And they're finally standing erect. They're finally being courageous. And they're coming in because this person feels that you are, you know, very... Um, that I feel they feel you're worth it. And they've always known it. They just were just trying to deny it. So we have authority. So this is a, absolutely, like I said, with the 6713, that's for the emperor, that's the masculine energy. So this person definitely wants to come in now and make this offer, make this grand offer, uh, because they like what they see now, you know? It's like they now have some sort of epiphany. They may be getting, like I said, you know, some sort of um, clairaudient messages with music, but they are ready and to come in, I just saw 55, 55. So this person is ready to come in because I feel like they've gone through some sort of dark night of the soul journey as well. They've gone through enormous pain and hurt. They felt backstabbed, betrayed, overwhelmed. And now it's like they want to come towards you, but this is how they see you. It's very guarded, you know, very guarded, very protective of your energy. So they're not sure, but they're still coming in confidently. That's why it took a while because this person knows the pain they cause, but how they see you now is they see you as someone who's in control. You're in control of your own happiness. You're balanced, you're stable, you're independent, you're self-sufficient. You're also emotionally fulfilled. So you've learned to heal yourself. Bottom of the deck, balance. Yep, they wanna restore the balance. This person is trying to find balance because they really are up in their head. But I feel their angels and ancestors are assisting them and giving them signs and synchronicities to let them know what's going on. See that? They're gaining the wisdom, the clarity. We got memories of love. Someone from your past has been holding on to you. But remember, we had always and forever playing. So this person carries you in their spirit without a question of a doubt. And while they're carrying you in their spirit, they're still, they're like agonizing over this connection. You know, because I feel like there was something that they may have done that they regret. And that's why they had to learn from their mistakes. You know, but I also feel they were dealing with someone who could have been doing some sort of spell work on them, keeping them stuck, trying to hold on to them. This is why they couldn't take action or make action. This is why they probably left you behind because someone was, you know, kind of manipulating their energy as we did see that hex. And so we have Avant playing separated. So they, they are going through some sort of separation, but they're also feeling this pain due to the separation between the two of you. I feel this person has to go through some sort of mat, like they have to get a divorce or separate from someone because this person, the love that they feel, they are holding you and carrying you in their spirit. They could possibly be like doing like lighting candles, um, like, you know, trying to manifest you. See this fertility? I can't make this ish up. See this? We got imagination, remembrance, synchronicity. So they're trying to break free from someone because they know that you are, you know, their divine feminine. This person is, is learning, you know, because what Avant just said is, I don't want to be with you. Put that on everything I own. So it's like if they are in a marriage, if they are in a connection, it's like they don't want to be with that person because I feel like what they are holding on to is they're holding on to you. They're holding on to these memories of love. Remember, we had you remind me. So they've been holding on to you for quite some time and everything reminds them of you. They have these little synchronized moments where there could be a song that plays that reminds them of you. It's like a song they've you know, mentally just dedicated to you because it makes them think of you. 
this wisdom, somebody could be seeking wise counsel, you know, perhaps going to someone in their family that's been married for, you know, 50 years, 40 years, seeking wise counsel, trying to learn about relationships, trying to figure out how to separate themselves from a partner. This is someone who's really seeking wise counsel, but also thinking of marriage. Like when they think of you, they think of marriage. When they think of you, yeah, they see you as their destiny. This is like a destiny type of love. You know, this is somebody that really feels that you are um, their divine counterpart. I feel this person also sees like, you know, that there's some sort of, um, yeah, they're, they're holding on to this memory, but they also see that, you know, something's coming full circle. There's going to be some sort of turning point. Because I feel like this is a destiny type of love, but balance is necessary, you know, and this person has to stand their ground. They've got to find balance because whatever they're dealing with, whomever they're dealing with, I feel is kind of holding them back. And with separated, they need to be, you know, someone that they've separated from or someone they need to separate from is like kind of holding them back, you know. So let's see what we have. This is the fertility card yet again. So I already called it out that you all are seen as the divine feminine, divine masculine. And here it is yet again. So I feel like y'all are in an energy of creating. You're creating, you're birthing ideas, you're mastering your craft, sharpening your sword, honing your skills, gifts, and talents. This is what you're doing. You're just manifesting. That's what you've been doing. That's why you have the respect. Because it's like you have not lost focus on what you need to be doing for yourself. I feel like you've used whatever, you know, this, this heartache and loss, whatever this tumultuous circumstance or situation was as, you know, kind of like um, ammunition to create. You've used it as fuel to create, to, to tap into your creativity. And so we have Omarion, and this is called touch. So what did I say? Somebody's longing to touch you, longing to speak to you, longing to just be in your presence. Because you are attractive, you're beautiful, you're strong, you're powerful, you're nurturing, you're loving, you're domestic, you're caring, you're attentive, you're affectionate, you're kind, you know your worth and value, you're powerful, you're successful. Someone's trying to muster up the strength to take some sort of leap of faith, you know, they're trying to figure out how to be daring, how to come toward you. Because when you're seen in this energy, you know, they see you as very strong, you know, and very guarded at the same time. The vine is telling you that everything is working out in your favor. So, you know, protect your peace. I always, you know, um, protect your peace and protect your energy. You know, you're also being assured that there is nothing for you to worry about. Everything is working out in your favor. So you haven't a thing to worry about, my beautiful Scorpios. You're going to have infinite supply and you are completing a cycle and you just have to trust the process. You know, when it's time to let something go, just let it go. Don't try to fight it. Surrender to the divine. You know, I feel like that's what someone is also having to to do. But someone also, you know, some of you all need to perform a release ritual. You know, you may need to uh, go to a body of water and just perform a release ritual. Or you may need to just um, take a spiritual bath. Just, you know, purify your energy, cleanse yourself. Because I do feel like there was some sort of um, attempt to uh, attack you spiritually or psychically, you know, um, so you do need, because we did see that hex card. So that could be somebody like manipulating the person that's coming towards you's energy, or this could be someone just kind of manipulating the energy of anyone that person that's coming towards you is affiliated with. So you got to protect yourself. I see a card that flew out. So balance. What did I say about justice? This is Mama Ma'at. She has everyone's address. So someone's going through karma. And I feel like this is all showing that this was a karmic relationship. You've completed a karmic cycle. Everything's going to be handled fairly and justly. And so whoever this was, I feel that caused you heartache and loss. Now they're going through their own uh, karmic lessons, you know, but I feel like you've learned you've you you have more respect for this circumstance because you've you've grown tremendously from it. It's like you've learned. So, you, you know, whatever you were broken hearted from, whatever heartache and loss you suffered from, it was like you turned your pain into power. 
you know, and you turned your vulnerabilities into a superpower. So it's like you literally were the conduit of change and transformed and emerged someone new after heartache and loss. And that's why you're being rewarded because the divine has noticed how resilient, how strong you have had to be, you know, and how much you've worked on yourself to heal thyself. You got a miracle coming in and someone really, really, um, Someone is praying for you, I feel. Someone's praying for you. Someone's praying to reconcile this connection, to repair, to get the second chance. I definitely feel like there's a blessing. You're going to be able to feel, touch, hold, like something tangible, especially with touch playing by Omarion. So I feel like there is a stroke of luck, a blessing, an answered prayer. It says, have faith. Your prayers have been heard and are being answered. So whoever this is that's calling upon you or wishing upon a star to manifest you back, manifest, you know, trying to manifest the strength, the courage and wisdom to come towards you. I feel like there's going to be like some sort of of, of miracle because remember, we saw wish fulfillment. So there's an answered prayer here. Someone definitely is. I feel like someone was torn initially, but now they're trusting their intuition. And so we have sensitivity. So you all, you have someone who's also very psychic, as I said. You're also very psychic. You're also very sensitive. I feel like you need to be mindful of what you're watching, what you're listening to, what you're eating, ingesting, what you're, you know, where you're, where you are, um, you know, just where you are, you know, it's, it's, it's really an energy of protecting your energy by all means. So I, like, don't, I, I don't, I, I mean, not to judge anybody, but I just feel like spirit is telling you, like you're growing very sensitive, you know, you're very sensitive to energy. Um, and this affects you. Some of you all could be empaths, which is why the divine is saying, look, like be mindful of harsh relationships, environments, and situations. And even chemicals. Someone could be like, you know, having some sort of like addictions. Maybe someone smokes too much, like smokes too much weed. Or maybe somebody's vaping too much. And the divine is like, look, you need to like relax. Because you're growing sensitive. The more um, spiritually, um, the more spiritually connected you become, the more those attachments, addictions are to fall away like you are to be broken free from those things and if you find yourselves still needing to smoke or still needing to um drink you know liquor or like on a frequent basis it's nothing wrong with you know socially you know you're around a social setting you get a glass of wine or a little you know glass of uh, mimosa or something like that there's nothing wrong with that but if you like daily you know every day you got to have a, a, a you know a joint or every day you got to you know, vape or every day you got to drink or even with eating, if you're watching, um, you know, certain toxic shows like reality TV shows or just like, you know, death and gore and crime TVs, it's like too much of anything is not good for you. You're growing very sensitive. So you got to be mindful of what you're, like I said, listening to what you're engulfed in, what you're allowing, what you're ingesting, I should just say. Because it's going to affect you. I feel someone that you're dealing with is also growing sensitive. And, and they're also now becoming aware um, that they too are healers. Or that they too have some sort of gift or some sort of soul's mission or some sort of life's path. And so in order to follow that path, in order to be obedient to spirit, they must, you know, they must relinquish whatever this is, um, you know, that they're doing in excess, if that makes any sense. So we have endings and the beginnings. See that? So every end in the notes, a new beginning. Like I said, the demise of a relationship led to the rebirth, led to your transformation. It led to you, you know, going through that shift, you know, that shift or that just that. That change, you know, making that change. Owning your power, taking your power back. Maybe some of you, like I said, tapped into your creativity as the divine feminine or masculine. And you started to, you know, work on your skills, gifts and talents. And now you're here, very successful, very abundant, very self-sufficient, independent, powerful, 
but I also feel like, you know, whoever this was that didn't make an effort in the past, that was very complacent, very um, just unmoved, you know, very guarded. You know, this body language speaks to someone very guarded, you know. Now I feel like there is, you know, a sense that someone uh, has some sort of epiphany, you know, because I see this first eye is open and the first eye is really like, you know, having that knowingness, having that discernment, that awareness, being enlightened. So someone is aware, you know, this ending that that they caused, um, you've emerged someone new and the divine is reminding you to show forgiveness. But it's also reminding you to release that person, let them go because they are not a good fit for you. You two want two different things. They want to control. They don't want to nurture. They don't want to care. Um, they don't want to be tender, loving and caring. They want to control. This is someone who likes to be the authoritarian. They don't believe in um, having a divine counterpart or having a partner to to build with. They want to have little minions that they can say, do this, do that, and you fall in line. But I see R. Kelly here, your body's calling. Someone's definitely self-pleasing. Like they're thinking of you, dreaming of you constantly. Um, definitely, like I said, first thought in the AM, last thought in the PM, like literally. You live in this person's mind. But I feel there was an ending. You created space, you created boundaries. And there's also distance, emotional distance or even physical distance. And I feel like you're, you're, you're guarding yourself. Like you are guarding yourself um, with no questions asked. And with your body's calling, like this person is absolutely feeling magnetically and, and synergetically and, you know, chemistry. Like they, they, they're feeling this chemistry. They're feeling this connectivity. They're like, even though you are separated, even though there's a separation on the lack of communication, there was someone being ghosted. I feel there's just this longing, you know. So the new is trying to enter into your life. So look at that. Peace. You're protecting your peace by any means, any strategy, whatever it takes. And someone is really longing for you. This person that didn't make the effort, didn't think to make the effort in the past. That caused the demise of this relationship because they broke your heart, broke your trust. It's like they still have this unconditional love. And I feel you will love them unconditionally as well because I feel like there was roots and, and, and you know, some sort of history that you share with this person. But I feel like you're going to love yourself. You're going to love yourself first and foremost this time around. And we have home. So someone is absolutely like there's things changing internally with someone because this home could represent the physical body the vessel you know and and someone is making internal changes you know maybe there was someone you know that they were residing with you know that's causing them a lot of stress a lot of anxiety this is someone that's taking away their free will and liberty doing some sort of spell work you know maybe somebody's doing some sort of love uh, spells candles you know lighting candles trying to keep someone trap because remember we had always and forever you know but I do feel like maybe this is even a wife because you know when you marry you're to marry forever you know and maybe someone realizes like this is not their person someone is wanting to leave it says uh, your household situation is improving either through a move or a healthy change in the occupants so I'm feeling like someone is making a decision to exit a relationship, to leave someone behind, to leave that marriage or to leave that fiance, that girlfriend, that third party or to leave that job or whatever this was that was interfering with this connection. Because your body is calling to them, you know, your physical body, your spiritual body. It's like they, they are moved to come towards you because they feel this unconditional love. So why is imagination, ancestors, remembrance, 87, synchronicity and fertility here? They have a message of love and light and we have easy does it. So everything, you know, good things take time to create. Patience is always a form of action and we have boundaries. So I feel like the vine is reminding you to maintain boundaries. Love yourself enough to say no. So if someone comes back demanding something, don't feel obligated you know, you got to use your intuition with certain people and you have to always, um, you know, check for, you know, those cues, you know, like check for, you know, certain um, cues to see if somebody means what they say. Because what I see here is the air. 
you know, so this is, you know, with this air energy, that's like I said, the, the ace of swords um, and with this remembrance, it's just like somebody's like heavily thinking of you. But I feel like the divine is telling you, you, you remain guarded, you know, remain guarded. We have Shalimar. This is for the lover of you. Why is the divine telling Scorpios to remain guarded? Why is boundaries here? Because I do feel like you've established new boundaries. All right. So maybe you feel somebody's just coming toward you for passion, lust, love. I was feeling somebody was self-pleasing and nights of passion. This could be like almost somebody coming back just for some sort of um, sexual pleasure. And it says this is for the lover in you. And we got cycles and rhythms. So this could be somebody from your past trying to return. And the divine is telling you maintain those boundaries. Because you, you have somebody that you are passionate about, that is passionate about you, that is coming in. And I feel like you'll know because you'll feel the intensity. You'll feel whatever was lying dormant within you is going to start to explode. You're going to implode. <laughs> so let's see what we got coming and going out, going on. What we have on the bottom of the deck? I see the Ten of Pentacles here. So this is like happy house, happy spouse, investing, long-term commitment. I see the Ace of Cups. This is why the divine is telling you to create boundaries because you may have somebody coming back from your past and they're trying to block some sort of beautiful blessing. This divine passion is like the Ace of, Pen um, Ace of Wands. And the divine is reminding you to be passionate. Be honest with yourself about what it is that you want this time around. What is your heart's truest desires? Don't go against that because you what you you know your worth and value. I feel the divine is saying like, yo, I have something beautiful here for you. And this is that ace of cups. Someone's watching you. You have a secret admirer, Scorpios. This is someone that has uh, brown eyes or maybe they love your brown eyes. But with this is for the lover in you, like this person is going to offer you love. They're going to offer you affection. They're going to offer you stability, security. This is someone that's going to be like, you know, that that um, divine counterpart, as I was saying, someone that wants that happy house, happy spouse energy. And they're rushing in. Look at that eight of wands. This person is rushing towards you. There's positive, joyful communication coming towards you. Somebody sees your worth and value. I feel like this is someone that absolutely likes what they see. They see you in this pre empress status, very self-sufficient and independent, working very hard. To achieve your goals. This is someone that is, you know, very grounded, balanced, and in alignment. Someone who's a healer. Someone domestic, very resourceful, practical. You also, you know, have this energy of being very guarded, protecting yourselves by any means, any strategy, but also feeling, you know, like you, you, you gracefully bowed out of a situation and focused on, you know, building your brand, rebuilding. You know, because people that you were giving to, there was a lack of reciprocity. You were giving, giving, giving and, other, and wasn't receiving anything in return. And we see that here with the 67 physical activities. Someone wasn't making, you know, any attempts to make you feel secure in the connection or make you feel valued or appreciated. And that just led to you saying, I'm gracefully bowing out of this because I know my worth and value. I know what I deserve. This person wasn't speaking your love language, but now with this page of wands, I feel there's a message. There could be an apology, but it is exciting news. But I feel the divine is telling you to maintain your boundaries until you see, you know, with your eye, your first eye, what it is you need to see. And look at this. You're, you're holding out for real love. This is you waiting for that person or you, you know, having that expectation of coming into union with someone that's going to, um, fill your cup. So this is someone that's going to fill your cup of love and you're filling theirs. So this is an equal give and take in the partnership, very balanced, very harmonized. And I see the seven of pentacles. You've worked very hard to achieve this. This could be someone that you already have, you know, some sort of history. You have some sort of um, connection to this person. This could even be saying this is a past life love. But I feel like you and this person are mirroring one another because you've experienced similar experiences in terms of love, in terms of heartbreak. This is someone who dreams of you constantly, thinks of you. Someone who also sees you as wish fulfillment. I feel like your hard work is paying off. So even all the work that you may have been doing that you felt, you know, was was going. Um, it was just, you know, the, the, 
there was a sense of you feeling like unappreciated, um, you know, devalued in a sense. It's like now it's going to pay off. You're very protective of your energy, very guarded. You're holding on to everything that you have, you know, because it's like you, you almost lost it all. So it's like if, if someone's not coming in to to give to you equally, you're you're just you're kind of guarded, you know, because you're you're not allowing someone to um, to put you back in this place where you, you were feeling, you know, deep pain, you know, that, that is a very painful way, um, to, you know, end a partnership, you know, where someone possibly just, you know, kind of left you hanging here, just third party left you for the third party and left you up in your head agonizing. But I do feel like there was instant karma. I do feel like somebody, um, reaped what they sowed and we have Lauren Hill lost ones playing. And so that's what they did. They lost one, but somehow, I feel, you know, someone else, you know, there's someone else that you have history with, maybe someone you could have worked with in the past. They've been holding on to you, holding on to this connection. Maybe this is like an old colleague and maybe there was always an attraction or maybe there was always some sort of um, connection you felt with that person. And, you know, maybe you've lost contact, but someone's watching. Just get a sense of someone watching you, someone admiring what they see. I see the sun card. Look at this. So this is, you know, better days ahead. This is positivity. This is happiness and joy. That's why the divine was saying, don't worry, things are going to be worked out in your favor. You know, everything is working out in a fair and just manner. And it's because, you know, this dark night of the soul journey that you've been experiencing, where you had to go through those growing pains, you know, it's like whatever didn't kill you made you stronger. Because you've learned, you know, your lesson, it's like now you have this epiphany, this illumination. Someone also has this knowingness now. They're, they're coming into um, a new profound respect for you, for how you handled yourself, you know. And they also realize, you know, that they lost a real one, according to Lauren Hill. Like, they lost one. They lost you, you know. This is somebody that definitely tried to take you and this connection for granted. Maybe this is someone who thought they was always going to be able to manipulate or dominate or just demand your time, your energy. And you would always just be like, okay, yes, sure. Uh-huh. And you just finally one day just stood erect and you didn't back down. You grew wiser, but I see better days ahead. This is also what Irene was saying when she said, there's no need for you to worry because you know, everything is working out in your favor. The sun brings joy and power and peace and illumination to everything. This is like also another like, you know, wish fulfillment or emotional fulfillment. I see this um, eight of cups. So this is really like that energy. Remember we saw that eight positive movement forward and I was saying that was giving me like the eight of cups of energy. Well, here we have it, voila. So someone now realizes they lost a real one. You know, you, you invested a lot. You invested all of the eight cups. That's why when that two of cups showed up, it's like you're looking for equal exchange, equal give and take. You're no longer going to provide all of the emotional, you know, um, um, energy and somebody just comes and takes what they need and then bounces. Like you've been waiting long and hard for reciprocity, for, you know, someone to deposit, to make deposits opposed to withdrawals. So you was, you, you know, you trusted what you were feeling instinctually, intuitively, um, you know, and you followed your gut instinct and you ultimately decided to leave a connection behind. I also feel someone's healing, as I said, themselves. And they're also learning because they're watching you. And what they're realizing is whatever they're involved in, whatever connection they're in, there's a lack of um, connectivity and a bond. They feel like, you know, they possibly could have lost you chasing after something that wasn't worth it. But they're growing more sensitive now, sensitive to the way that they're feeling around a certain person or certain individuals, you know, they're trying to avoid these harsh relationships, these harsh environments and situationships with people. And they want to heal. They want to focus on love and they want to take action. So let's see, why is, oh man, can't lose all these cards. Let me do a bang, bang boogie. Hold on. So I see a couple of cards flipped over. Yeah, they definitely want to take action. So we have freeze. This is called IOU. So somebody's definitely feeling your wrath. You know, they feel like you're very cold. 
but they also know they owe you an apology because I'm getting I owe you an apology Scorpio I'm gonna just cut my deck one more time being as though 50 bazillion cards tried to jump out of my hand and so we have seven of wands see that this is your energy this is how they see see you they, they they're also feeling guarded like now they're starting to feel you know encouraged motivated inspired by watching you to now stand their ground to not back down from letting someone else you know what I'm saying? Know how they truly feel. It's like protecting their energy now, you know, not allowing somebody to just take, 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 you know, so now they're being more courageous. They're being more assertive. But this person knows why you're guarded with them. They're also learning to guard themselves. They're also learning to block whatever doesn't serve their highest good. They know they owe you an apology because maybe whatever they did to you, they had to go through it as well. And this is why they're learning. So we have the page of pentacles. This person wants to offer something real, something tangible. This is like an offer of promotion, pay increase bonus. This is like you living in opulence. This is like some sort of solid offer. So maybe some of you all are going to receive some sort of uh, bonus pay, wish fulfillment, unexpected cash. Maybe you're, you know, like I said, successful in some sort of business um, endeavor. Uh, maybe you're reinvesting your finances into a business and things are going to just work out just fine. But I feel like you're also being rewarded for going through some sort of dark night of the soul journey, completing a karmic lesson and transforming into and emerging into someone very powerful, very strong, someone beautiful. Um, so let's see. I also heard somebody wants to freeze your finger. So meaning they want to put a diamond you know, ice, that's a term of ice. So with freeze, they want to put a piece of jewelry, nice little ice on your finger. See that? So you never, even though you felt unfulfilled, you, you continue to work. This is, you know, paying attention, um, you know, not even paying attention, but keeping your eyes on the prize, still doing your due diligence, still working hard, planting seeds, um, and expecting a return. Um, on your investment. This is you receiving that payout. Like, you know, there's going to be a return on your on your investment. And I feel like it's because you invested in yourself. You invested in, in healing thyself. And in healing thyself, you learn to love thyself. And in loving thyself, you're now, you know thyself. And that's why now you are, you're very guarded, very protective, you know, of your energy. You're protective of, um, you know, who you will have around you. Uh, you're protective of you know, um, your finances, you're just very, very much, um, guarded. My nose is itching like crazy. It's just tingling and itching and whoo, but yeah, so there's a return on your investment. You're reaping what you sowed. And that's why Irene said, look, you you protect your peace. You're going to be at peace. You're going to live in peace and harmony. You and your children are going to be taken care of. There's emotional fulfillment. I feel someone that's going to bring, you know, some sort of, um, Emotional balance is also coming in and the eight of cups. Yeah, they're, they're coming back. I'm hearing I've been working my way back to you, babe. So somebody's trying to work their way back to you. You know, maybe they're waiting for signs and synchronicities from spirit, divine interventions, downloads and transmissions from spirit. Maybe that's who they're communicating with. Like I said, with this ancestors card, just waiting for a sign, waiting for some, some sort of aha, you know, and we did hear, you know, earlier, like, you know, they were, um, you know, um, when they wake up, you know, so they're waking up to some sort of truth. So why is Wiccan read the eight of, um, 71 health and, um, memories, six memories of love and home here for what's hidden. And so we have the Knight of cups. So it seems like there is an, um, apology coming in, you know, uh, but you gotta be mindful. You know, that's why the divine was saying, create you know, maintain your boundaries because this could be someone like emotionally manipulative uh, because I see this, you know, this knight, he's very fully guarded, but this is usually like a message and we have cut close and this is called, I like the divine, the name of the album is called surrender. Um, so cut close. So I feel like this is somebody who, who, I feel somebody is leaving a situation like they're leaving someone behind because they like you. They like the way you tease them. They like the way you squeeze them. They like the way you touch them. 
So remember, we had Amari on touch. So they like the way you make them feel. And whoever they was with, because remember, we got memories of love. So they're living in their head. They're thinking about these things. Remember, we had you remind me. So you remind them of love. You remind them of the very definition, the very feeling. You are the embodiment of love. And there goes the King of Cups. I can't make this ish up. This is somebody that doesn't emote. This is someone that has difficulty communicating. That's why they're coming in as a knight, because maybe emotionally um, they're a little immature. But this is somebody that was living with another person. And that's why their energy was probably, um, you know, it, 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 it was, you know, they were kind of standoffish, wasn't making an offer because they couldn't. And I don't feel this is an ex. I feel this is someone you had a beautiful connection with, someone that, you know, you thought things were going to go further than they did. And it's because it couldn't because they still had attachments. You know, there were still strings attached to a situation. And with cut close, I feel like they're cutting those strings. I feel like somebody is cutting themselves free from some sort of karmic. They're leaving. They're moving out of a home that they was living with someone else. And now they have this sense of stability. They have their strength back. They feel empowered because I feel like somebody was doing something, you know, like taking away someone's free will, manipulating their energy through spell work, magic love spells and this is what was you know causing all of that mental anguish and conflict someone was really being mind upped manipulated emotionally mentally you know this is psychic attacks but they couldn't let go of you the feelings of love this is someone that does not as i said they don't really um express themselves they c truly are very like reserved when it comes to emotions but they feel Deeply. That's why this King of Cups is always depicted as, you know, um, being in the ocean. The ocean is deep, you know. So this person has deep feelings, deep emotional feelings towards you. And they like what they see. They like you. Not only do they love you, they like you. And this is someone very spiritual, very wise. They could have... Um, I feel like a dragon can be their um, Chinese zodiac. Dragons represent um, wisdom, wise dome, you know, because it can. It has mastered all elements, earth, water, fire and air. So this is like somebody who's definitely been learning. And I feel like they've learned from the best, which is you. And I feel the divine is also telling you surrender. Like, you know, maybe you are going to be very guarded and the divine is like, you know, trust your intuition. So why is air, imagination, ancestors, remembrance, 87 synchronicity, the fertility, boundaries and divine f passion here? And so we have temperance. Divine timing is um, of the essence. Good things take time to create. I feel like balance is being restored. You know, this is about balancing you know, one's emotions and one's passions. We have, when will I see you smile again? So that's why, you know, this is here as well. Because a lot of you have been wronged. You've been hurt. You've been in pain. You've been, you know, taken for granted. You've been deceived. You've been betrayed. And I feel like, you know, someone tried to steal your joy. Or maybe they did steal your joy in the past. And that's why the divine is telling you with everything, with all your might now, protect your peace and protect your, your happiness. And don't let anyone have that type of power. So with boundaries, you know, you know what to cut off when necessary. But this is also about tempering yourselves, being in control of your own emotions. This is about healing. This is healing. And this is about pouring into yourself, learning that love is an inside job. Happiness is an inside job. Nobody should have control over your emotional elevators. This is really about you maintaining control. Somebody really wants to see you. They love your smile. They feel you have a beautiful smile. You may have beautiful pearly white teeth. They may love your eyes. You know, this is somebody that really, you know, they got trapped. I feel like they got trapped in another situation and they just dream of you. You know, this is what they think of. When will I see Scorpio smile again? When will I hear Scorpio laugh? When will I smell Scorpio's effervescence? You know? I feel like there, there's this, I don't want to say addicted because that sounds a little, you know, shadowy, but it's like they're addicted to you, you know? 
it's like your pheromones. There's something about your pheromones. It's just like it's it's intoxicating to them. But I also feel there's, you know, this is reminding us that, you know, everything happens in divine time and good things take time to create. And I feel while you're working on yourself and maintaining your balance, um, your boundaries, someone else is also working on themselves. And we have the seven of um, swords here. So this is why the divine was telling you to be mindful, to maintain these boundaries. Because when you have somebody here in the seven of swords, that represents deceit. And this is clarifying divine passion. So somebody could be coming back with that succubus energy, incubus energy, trying to, you know, trying to sabotage, like trying to dupe you into thinking they want something deeper. But it's really just about sex. It's just about passion, lust. The three of cups is showing me that there's still some sort of third party shenanigans or maybe someone was just being deceptive about how they felt, you know, not being honest not being transparent. This is self-deception as well, you know, about their feelings. You can't hide, you know, how you feel when, when the, like, this is obviously like intensifying and, and, and e erupting. Someone was being deceptive. They really want to smile. They really want, you know, to have a happier, lighter um, connection with you. But I feel like what they're doing is they're sabotaging this. Maybe they're drinking too much, but they want to reunite. Let me get a couple more messages. Thank you, spirit. And we have on the bottom of the deck, see decisions. So they're trying to figure out how to come towards you. See that? They know who you are to them. This person could be a little intimidated because you come off as, you know, like you are self-sufficient. You're independent. You don't need or want for anything. You're very beautiful, regal, royal. This is someone that has, you know, perhaps... They did sabotage this connection, trying to be a player, trying to be, you know, somebody playing games and they ended up getting played. They ended up falling in love. They've been watching you and they see how you've rebuilt. You've been building, you know, and growing and evolving and you've been tempering yourself, finding balance. This person wants to come to you so badly. They played, they played, they was trying to play you for boo-boo the fool, but they ended up being foolish now they feel foolish and they want to take this leap of action they want to take some sort of leap of action to come towards you because they realize that they was juggling a divine feminine and empress you know they could have been married and then come to realize after bumping into you that you know that marriage is a farce it's not really making them happy they're not feeling happy look at this i can't make this up the empress they see you as very beautiful and I also feel that they're married and they have been juggling, you know, and, and, and trying to muster up the strength and courage to express what they truly feel. And we have TLC playing, digging on you. So they're definitely torn between the two. They're, they are married. Somebody is absolutely married and they're trying to figure out how to walk away from this connection. Um, they, they, they may have had options, a lot of options. I feel you're going to also have options in love and the divine is telling you choose wisely, you know, choose wisely because there's going to be someone from the past trying to come back playing games. And I feel like they're just a distraction because they know you're moving on. They feel the disconnect. They feel the distance emotionally as well as physically. There's no denying you're coming off as, you know, being colder now. You're coming off as guarded. You're not as warm, you know. So that ex, that past person that was very toxic to you, they're starting to realize, like, you're slipping away. Someone else that you've had a strong connection with, whether this in this life, this physical reality, or in a past life, they're coming to the realization of how profound this connection is that they have for you and what they feel for you. And somebody's digging on you. So I feel this is that secret admirer that's watching you. See that? It says, because I'm happy. And it says, you can't steal my joy. I can't make this up. So someone is really digging on you because you appear to be very content. You're not looking for validation from anyone external to self. So you are content. You are happy because you're happy. You're happy because you're happy internally. You found happiness within. 
That was the work you did. That's why you've emerged someone completely different. And that's why somebody is even more attracted to you because you are in control. You're not allowing anybody to push your buttons, to manipulate you. And we have trust issues. I've been hurt and I'm afraid to be hurt again. And that's your sentiment with this three of swords. I definitely feel like, you know, you could be very guarded. You could be coming off as very standoffish or untrusting or very queen of swordish, king of swordish because of the backstabbing that you endured in the past, because of the sabotage, the lies, the deception, the tricknology, the mind uckery. This is why you're very guarded because this is pain. This is agony. You know, this is somebody playing with your mind for years, telling you that, this is, you know, I'm going to do this. We're going to do that. And nothing happened. They was always plotting and scheming. This is somebody who was very much an opportunist, someone who was a trickster, someone who got off, you know, playing games and toying with people's emotions. They felt like, you know, this is like somebody who had a warped sense of reality. You know, they saw themselves as, you know, being super intelligent because they knew how to manipulate very well. They knew how to break hearts very well. So they saw themselves as being like, you know, some, 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 you know, wise being because they knew how to play with people's emotions. So it says, if you have to force the connection, there isn't one. It's a two way street. Someone's coming to this realization. This could have been your epiphany, your aha moment. Because remember we had, um, when I wake up. So somebody's finally waking up to the fact that like, damn, you know, everything moves only when they take initiative. You know, things don't come off the ground unless they take the initiative. And so they said, look, I got to love myself. I got to love me. I can't be in a relationship with someone and doing all the work. So there was balance that was necessary. I see here you plus me equals love. Someone's realizing, you know, somebody's realizing like this is what you had to go through you went through this backstabbing but i feel like you're going to be you know this is like redemption you know you had to experience this in order to learn your you know your worth or to in order to learn to love yourself you had to experience that sometimes things you know have to play out a certain way so that you can grasp the lesson that's being taught to you by spirit and the ones that hurt Scorpios the most are the ones closest to them because Scorpios aren't the type to just go trust everyone, you know. So you would have had to be in Scorpios good graces, a friend, a family member, a lover to have had, you know, pained them in this way. You know, this is someone that Scorpio trusted and they felt very duped. This is mind uckery. This is gaslighting. This is trickery. You was in the fog. This is illusions, delusions. You know, and that was done intentionally. So we have Usher, you got it bad. So you had it bad for a while. Like you, you was feeling really betrayed for a while. But I feel now, like I said, with this, you know, with uh, my art, which is justice, I feel somebody now is feeling what they made you feel. You know, you reap what you sow ultimately. So we have, um, this says, uh, laughter is contagious. So that's what happened, you know, after that dark night of the soul journey, after the pain, the loss, the agony, the sun came out, you know, that was that optimism. That was that hope. This is you gaining your strength back, owning your strength, your power, seeing things for what they truly are and finding your happiness. You know, this is that light at the end of the tunnel. And this brought you a lot of joy and peace. And now that someone sees you, you know, in this light, they realize how bad they have it for you because they see you as someone that brought sunshine into their life, even though they dimmed your light. Even though they, you know, stole your joy, this is what you brought into their life. This is what you bring in most people's lives because Scorpios, you are, you know, the conduits of change. You are beacons of light. You're very loving. You're very affectionate and caring and nurturing. That's just your energy. That's your element to be emotionally intelligent. And I feel you just have that energy where you take care of the people around you. You're very loyal and I feel that's why this heartache and loss was very profound and led to a transformative time in your life because you are very nurturing to the people around you. So to discover that you have people around you that were trying to backstab you and plot and scheming and scamming and snakes and incubus, succubus, thieves, all of that type of energy, people wearing false masks. It really was heartbreaking. It was really traumatizing. But I feel you overcame all of that because Mama Ma'at, like I said, has everyone's address. And so the scales are balanced for you, meaning you're going to be 
brought back into equilibrium and now whatever they did to cause you pain is going to be returned to sender it's like they're going to receive whatever it is that they did to you this is it's about fairness but now someone is realizing they got it bad for you someone feels like they got it bad didn't i tell you, you had a secret admirer it says secret admirer loves what they see so somebody th this is i'm feeling like that that ex person that backstabbed you and betrayed you is starting to realize like they actually love you you know this is that person that played you for boo boo the fool had you up in la la land you know this is you up in la la land but you came back down to reality because you grounded yourself remember we had grounding that's what you had to do you had to ground yourself and did not say somebody was doing candle magic i can't make this ish up look at this this is underneath grounding so somebody's doing candle magic, trying to keep somebody stuck, trying to keep someone contained, trying to keep someone with them always and forever. This could be a marriage. Maybe that's why someone is doing love spells, because they want someone, um, you know, this could be a husband and a wife. And, and they put it on their spouse so that they would never leave. But this person secretly admires you, secretly longs for you. So why is witch, um, healer, 88 abundance chariot sensitivity and seven of wands it says support system it says the village it says people you can trust and depend on in a crisis this person does not have a support system they got it bad because they feel like you were more supportive you were more emotionally available to them they felt like they could speak to you about anything under the sun moon and stars but with this other person they they, they have to be guarded you know this is the person you're attracting to you, like that twin flame energy. Someone realizes that you were a very loyal person. They could trust what you said. They knew that you would give them advice out of love, that you would give them the right advice. Like you weren't telling them things um, to sabotage or to block We got Kiki role playing. This is called go getter. Someone sees you as such like you really have gone out and went after whatever it is you want. We got smiling faces. Sometimes don't tell the truth. Very beguiling. So that's what you started to realize just because someone reveals, you know, smiles and reveals their teeth doesn't mean that they are, you know, a friend of yours. You know, that's just somebody who's, you know, very beguiling. So they know how to manipulate. And I, I, I feel that you you could have gotten duped by someone. And that's one of the lessons you've learned. You know, you've learned not to sit and wait for anything to go get what you want. So maybe you was waiting for perhaps this emperor, you know, to offer you long term commitment or to, um, like I said, take action. And, you know, when they didn't, you just had to finally muster up the strength and courage to go get whatever it is you want, including your happiness, your peace, your stability. Because, you know, this is this is you, you know, you, you had someone kind of that you you were familiar with or who thought they were familiar with you. Um, they were just kind of using you. They was just around because it benefited them in some way, you know. And so they were smiling in your face, telling you everything they wanted you to hear because they knew you were a hard worker. They knew that you knew how to go out and get what you wanted. They knew that you were ambitious. You were very um, willful, very strong, very independent. But I feel like you got tired of being let down. And I feel you finally saw this person for who they truly were. And you realized you had to go get what you wanted by your own means, you know, and not wait for this emperor to offer you anything who's very defensive you know this is a very defensive disposition they're not open to anything you know this is a very blocked energy very emotionally blocked this is a very stern and stoic and cold type of energy as well and so you kind of said i'm gonna go get what i want and so we got your love is one in a million no one can match it and that's what we just heard just now you know someone re literally realizes you know that you're the one that got away. Remember, we had Usher singing, you got it bad. So someone's now, they have it bad because they realize just how rare, they real how, realize just how special you are. You were like an earth angel. 
you know, you really invested a lot. You put a lot of love, a lot of intention, a lot of intention into this person, into this union. You, you really was trying to build and they just took it for granted. They thought you would always be there. This is also someone you could have worked with, you know. And it says, learn a new healthy recipe, eat to live, check the ingredients. Is it GMO? And this is also, remember I was speaking to the body, the vessel, you know. So make sure, like I was talking about, you know, what you're ingesting. So make sure you read the back labels. I literally, um, I think I told you all this story in a former reading. But, um, you know, me and my daughter, we were shopping at Wally World. And, um, you know, every now and then I like to have little kettle co cooked um, chips. And so I picked up the, the bag and I always go to the back to see what the ingredients are. And I saw the label, not only did it say that, you know, this contains bioengineered ingredients, but it also said in a little box that the ingredients in this, um, the ingredients, um, may cause birth defects and cancer. And I'm like, what the hell could they possibly be putting in a bag of pop, um, chips that could cause birth defects and cancer. So you got to be very mindful of what you're ingesting, what you're eating. Your body is your temple. And I feel like, you know, some of you, if you're eating out all the time, you might want to nip that in the bud and start purchasing your own ingredients and cooking from home, you know, preparing your own food because you don't know what additives they're adding. There's a lot of poison. You know, that's why the world, you know, in America, people are obese because of all of the they pump um, a lot of, um, what's the word, any, um, what is that word? They, they put a lot of steroids in the food and um, what is that, um, nitrogen and shit to make the food appear, you know, fresh. They do a lot of things. So those preservatives, additives, those are not healthy. It's, it's pretty much toxic. It's chemicals and it's poisonous to the body. And this is why a lot of people are walking around with cancer and all type of physical ailments that they cannot explain. And so this is coming up because you all need to be mindful of what you're ingesting. OK, and remember, I was saying that you held a mirror up to someone that says mirror reflects. Can they be a reflection or the shadow side of you? Check yourself. That's what this person is doing. This person is, is now looking back, reflecting on their behavior, reflecting on their um their mistreatment and I definitely am um, feeling you have a new love that also acknowledges you know that you are one in a million you're a rare find it's the chemistry for you the inherent chemistry someone feels this chemistry which is why they are coming back for you they come in to come get you you know they come in to come get you because this emotional connection this synergy this chemistry this magnetic pull that they feel it's like it's unmatched. It's not unlike any other. They can't continue to live in their head. This is someone that feels a lot of love and this chemistry, man, this is un like you can't make that up. You can't fake energy, chemistry, synergy. You can't fake that. But I feel this is someone who's, you know, going to come in very quickly, especially with this chariot here. They're going to rush in and it may surprise you. It may throw you off, you know. So we have you a beauty in every fashion of the word. And this is what someone is now realizing after the fact. We also have remorse, regret. Didn't I say somebody feeling regret and shame? And then we have go deeper and you haven't even scratched the surface. And then we have Keisha Cole playing. This is called enough of no love. So you you were in a situation that felt very one sided. That's what I'm getting. I feel like you felt like a connection was one sided. You was investing. You was putting so much time, love, energy, intention into this connection. And you got nothing. Nada. Zilch. Zitch. It was zero zip zilch. Nothing. And so now that you've walked away, pulled your energy, started to work on yourselves, loving yourself. Now that ex person that caused this pain is starting to realize how much of a beacon of light you were in their life. This person sees you as someone very beautiful. Not only do they see you as someone very beautiful, but you have other secret admirers that are now starting to recognize you because you're giving off divine feminine, divine masculine energy. And I feel like spirit is telling you to protect yourself, protect your energy. Because there's going to be some past people coming back. 
and there's going to be some new folks coming back. The divine has already told you, you have to release your past in order for the new to come in. So that's why the divine was telling you to, you know, establish these boundaries and don't allow people to just, you know, manipulate your energy, demanding your time, your, your, your attention, demanding ish from you. Set your boundaries. Someone that's coming in for you, that sees your worth, sees your value, you know, that wants to invest long term, commit, collaborate, have that happy house, happy spouse. They are in love with you internal as well as external because this person realizes, like I said, that you are the very embodiment, the very depiction of what love feels like. You just translate love on all levels. And they have regret because they was being foolish in the past. They was hiding their feelings. They was double talking. They was talking just reckless. You know, maybe somebody was, you know, chasing their Johnson, you know, following what their Johnson wanted them to do. But I feel now there's a sense of like, you know, they're taking accountability and ownership. They are feeling regret. They now see the role they played in the demise of this relationship. And why you walked away with enough of no love. They realize why you distance yourself entirely. Like why you created boundaries. With this go deeper, you haven't even scratched the surface. Someone is starting to do introspective work, reflecting deeper on what they feel, on what what's, you know, what's what's um what's um surfacing. And we got great fortune here. You're gonna receive blessings. There's almost like a turning point point for you all financially. I feel like a lot of you all, like I said earlier in the beginning of the reading, you could have been dealing with someone who was just kind of like went from job to job to job. So a lot of the responsibilities landed in your lap. And so you always felt like you was robbing Peter to pay Paul to pay Jill. And then, you know, there was this spirit of lack or this lack mentality, you know, and now it's like with the financial discipline that showed up, it's like now you're prioritizing everything. Now you're paying your bills on time. Now you're stashing your money. You're building the savings. You're focused on your future. So you may have life insurance. You may have set up a will. You're like more focused on establishing, um, you know, some sort of stability. And I feel like now there's like things turning around in your favor. Blessings coming in, wish fulfillment, opportunities. I feel like this is almost like abundant tea of just pouring out amazing blessings. And you just have to be open. Look at this. I can't make this up. I cannot make this up. You have a wish fulfillment coming in. You got 17 and then you have 26. So you have a wish fulfillment that's coming in. This is somebody that's coming in that is absolutely going to grant you some sort of love offer give you something tangible this looks like a ring box to me i was hearing earlier look at that with the lovers here i was hearing earlier that somebody wanted to freeze your finger meaning put a piece of ice you know put a, a ring a diamond um but this is a love situation this is someone that feels a strong connection to you someone has to get a divorce someone is going through a divorce or separation from a love partner so that they could come in and offer you something real and tangible this is written in the stars it is written this is stone um statue so that means it is written and i feel like this person is is also very abundant this is like destiny you know this is a part of your destiny this and we have a atlantic star and this is called send for me so like i said this is somebody that has matured they're going to send you a letter they're going to send you a letter to the seven and five reduces to 12. That's three. This person knows who you are. And the a divine feminine showed up like three times in the reading. And that was before I even touched the cards. I was saying I was picking up on divine feminine energy. So there's absolutely someone that's going to send for you. Like, you know, they're going to just let you know how they feel. And he said, our love was good through all the tests of time. If you're planning to leave behind, leave me behind. Let me put one more thing on your mind. And so if you ever need me, baby, send for me. So, yeah, this is somebody from your past. But remember, the divine is saying, look, you know, establish those boundaries. I don't feel you can really trust anyone from their, your past. You know, we got expectations. You had expectations of where that relationship was going to go. And you was let down. You was you was really let down to the point where it really broke you. I feel like it took a lot for you to to heal. 
You know, and that's the only reason why I feel like somebody has respect for you because they're like, damn, maybe they're reflecting back because they're going through their own shadow period, their own karma, and they're realizing, damn, I put Scorpio through a lot. And so now they're, you know, gaining this newfound, you know, respect for you because they realize how much damage they caused and how hard you worked. So they're learning from you. You had a lot of expectations. You saw marriage in your future with that person. She's looking out at you know, onto this chapel is this church outside her window. So you have these expectations and it caused a lot of pain, you know, for things not to turn out the way that you want. But you realize that everything happens for a reason, you know, and you also realize how burdensome this connection was, you know, but you were be betrayed and backstabbed with that 28. I just get a sense of like the ten of swords, ten of wands energy, you know, even the ten of pentacles, ten of cups energy. There was an ending of a family dynamic and this was by someone that you trusted and loved like I said Scorpios will you know typically you'll get duped or played by somebody that you love because those are the only ones that could get within your cipher you don't really have a bunch of strangers and you know a bunch of people in your personal business as is so it's like it would have to be someone that you love someone that you care for that hurts you that betrays you you got marriage here someone is absolutely marriage married and they was looking to this person. This is supposed to be their support system, but they feel very much alone. Whoever you're attracting, they feel alone in a connection. They feel a disconnect, most importantly. And they're trying to heal from that connection because they're realizing they're growing sensitive. Like they're feeling these feelings of, of, of wanting to, to block themselves energetically from this person. You know, wanting to guard themselves, not being open because this is what spirit is telling them, you know. That, that first and foremost, whenever they need them, there's a lack of support. There's a lack of feeling like they have that that um, person they can lean on. So with marriage, someone is going to absolutely uh, it looks like a divorce. They're having to separate divorce. Why is um, healer? Thank you, spirit. So we have community again. See that support system. So they're angels and guides. I feel like their ancestors, spirit guides are kind of telling them that, look, you it's time to leave this connection. It's time for you to protect your energy. It's time to you to cut off people, places and things that don't honor you. Anybody that doesn't like support you or someone that isn't there for you in a time of crisis and a time of need is not on your side. They're not like rooting for you. They're not. Um, they're not um, a part of your soul tribe. So you have to protect your energy. So their angels and guides are telling them, like, look, pay attention. Pay attention. Sudden wealth is here. You're going to receive a blessing, a reward. I definitely feel like there is like maybe a lottery win, a scratch off ticket win, maybe lottery, maybe the sweepstakes, um, unexpected income, you know, a check coming out of the mail, you know, winning some sort of, um, excuse me, you know, winning some sort of um, legal, you know, maybe you're going to get some sort of uh, legal pay, you know, uh, what do you call that? I can't think of the word right now. It's on the tip of my tongue. But it's like you're you're winning some sort of um, case. But sudden wealth, man, this is like unexpected. And what your love is one in a million. I definitely feel like it's because the divine is acknowledging all the hard work, effort, you know, just how uh, positive you've maintained. That's why Irene is saying, look, your hard work is paying off. You have nothing to worry about. And we got Joe slow kisses. Somebody definitely dreams about kissing you. Somebody really loved the way you kissed, loved kissing you. All right. There's too many cards that just flew out. I, I got to put these back. I can't sit here and seeing a lot of cards, though. That's dope. I love them cards. Somebody's really in despair. Look at that. Somebody is in despair because I feel you are moving on. You're moving on to someone that does value you. Someone that realizes how rare you are and they're going to treat you as such. So why is, um, thank you, spirit. See that thief. Didn't I say something about trick, like tricksters. You was dealing with somebody that was a thief. They was stealing your energy, energy vampire, succubus, incubus, lychee. Somebody who was just coming around to take. 
somebody that was just dealing with you didn't i say somebody like somebody who was just like um you know always like in your pockets always in your bank accounts taking money ain't putting nothing in to replenish it but always going in and withdrawing because maybe you had um joint accounts somebody that was never keeping a job always just all over the place and with slow kisses the name of the album is drop oh no that's not drop the vibe um but slow kisses i feel like this person would just like you know that forehead kiss that people do when they're trying to be manipulative like that's that's what i'm getting a sense of or maybe they would try to be intimate in those moments when they was being really manipulative but this is one of the ways that they would be able to get over you know what i'm saying is they would like literally get over because um they would play emotional games you know this is like emotional manipulation but this is somebody that was Steven. this is third party situation here you know this is a, a feminine and a masculine so somebody could have had you know some little um circumstance where you know whatever they was doing to you is i feel like it got done to them Now they're realizing how rare you are in your absence, how much you invested, how much love you had for them. And they took it for granted. And whoever they dealt with you, like whoever they left you for, whatever situation was going on behind the scenes, someone realized someone was a thief or somebody was just using them for money. So someone is already in a situation. Okay, so I'm getting the sense. Okay, now it's making sense. Whoever's coming toward you is realizing um, that the relationship they're in is... Um, one of just opportunity. Somebody is really just dealing with them for money. Somebody has someone else that they're dealing with and they could be, you know, kind of teaming up with another person to take from them. We got main male here. So this main male that's feeling this chemistry is really about to come with you. We got Teddy Pendergrass. Come on and go with me. Come on over to my place. And where's their place? The home. So they want you to join them. They, they, they really, because this chemistry they feel and they can't ignore it. They can't, they can't forget this. Someone was being a thief, thief of your joy, thief of your happiness. And it's because they was playing games. It was third party shenanigans. There's three people here. Now they're realizing after the fact, your love was one in a million. We got this main male here. So somebody's definitely, definitely trying to uh, figure out how to get you to return. Yep, they have concerns because they're not sure if you're going to be receptive. They have these concerns because they know what they did, but they're hoping for a new path. They're hoping for a new opportunity because they do feel that you are like a wish fulfillment. That 35 is giving me the star. So that's hope and optimism, praying on a star, hoping things can transform between the two of you. Remember, I saw Erica Badu on the other side of the game. So on the other side of this, the flip side of the game is that they are now discovering how they feel. And there's a victory here. Spirit is saying high honor. Someone is celebrating you. This mature man. Yep. They're going to send you a message. Look at this. I can't make this up. Look at this. These cards here. So the high honors, victory, success. This is like breakthroughs. There's some sort of breakthrough. Somebody has grown up. Someone may have gone to counseling, therapy, you know, went to a pastor, went to a master teacher, an elder in the family, a patriarch or matriarch in the family and sought wise, wise counsel. And they have grown. They've become illuminated and clear. Now they're going to reach out. They're going to communicate to clear the air, to communicate, express their feelings. What they deeply desire is marriage. This is someone that wants to commit. This is someone that also could be committed. I feel like there's a turning point. This is like fortune and fame and blessings that are coming in for you. This is amazing. I love that. So why is this imagination ancestors? Maybe this is something this person dreams of is having this victory, the celebration, you know, being able to express themselves freely. Maybe they're having these signs and synchronicities that that's the action they need to take because they're fully aware that you are, you know, their kindred spirit, their soulmate. See that there's a death of a relationship. There's some sort of death. So they're going through some sort of dark night of the soul journey. This is an ending, but every ending denotes a brand new beginning. And so they dem they they cause the demise of this connection. They want to apologize because they have deep regret. They re apologize for, you know, juggling you playing games. They also apologize for not being honest and transparent, telling you, you know, what they may have had going on. 
being, you know, deceptive. Because all they did was sabotage themselves. But this, this is a death. That's why you created boundaries because you went through some sort of transformation. You, you've emerged someone completely different. But there's an apology. There's a message here. And this is from that main male. So this could be that person, your past person sending you a message. You got to be mindful. This person is really feeling heartbroken over you. They feeling real heartbroken. That's why boundaries is here. Yep. Message of concern. See that? We got a message of concern. So somebody's leaving someone because they, they, they want to come towards you. They want to take a leap of faith towards you. They want to be daring and risky and they're willing to risk it all, including a marriage because they don't feel a connection. They don't feel this, this emotional connection, this chemistry that they feel with you, with their, their significant other. And I feel like their support system, their angels, ancestors are, you know, encouraging them to, you know, to exit stage left. It's time to leave. Somebody could be with someone because of money in a relationship because of stability. It's codependent. It's not really based off of love. The foundation is rooted in finances, tangibles, material items. Who is this getting this? So I feel somebody is absolutely like whatever these feelings are that are exploding, whatever these feelings, this, you know, this emotional intensity or passion that someone is feeling is like they're no longer going to be they're no longer lying about what they feel and they're going to let their person know this could be someone receiving like divorce um papers in the mail yep it's like somebody's receiving divorce papers in the mail why is um empress and go deeper someone's coming in to make you an offer this is somebody i feel you worked with somebody who also recognizes how hard you work how valuable you are they feel you are their twin flame. They see you as someone who has matured. You have grown. You've evolved. You've leveled up. That's absolutely what the Empress embodies is maturation, beauty, strength, power. Someone wants to offer you. This is like somebody like proposing. Come on, go with me. Somebody wants you to come with them, meaning they want you to be theirs. They're in despair about this because they're not sure how to how to approach you how to express this, how to communicate these feelings. Let's see what's underneath despair. Yeah, this is that official person. So they are trying to muster up the strength, you know, stand erect so that they can express this. But what they feel internally is they feel this, they feel, they feel defeated. This is someone who was loyal to someone and they felt betrayed. Someone could also be like struggling financially. Someone is leaving, you know, uh, um, a marriage moving out maybe financially they are trying to you know like I said maintain everything pay Rob Peter to pay bill um Paul and we have uh please don't go so someone is begging someone not to go because they fear being you know in debt this is like codependent I just get real strong codependency someone really wants to come in and court you that divine masculine knows who you are this is someone that's definitely got their eyes on you. You have a lot of options. You have a lot of options here, Scorpio, because I feel the past person that wronged you is now realizing um, how rare you are, how beautiful. But I also feel you're attracting someone that's on your same wavelength and vibration that has experienced the same things. Whoever you're attracting to you, they're dealing with their karmic who doesn't want them to leave. And they could be manipulating your person's energy, the person that you're attracting to you. They could be manipulating their energy because they don't want them to go. We got boys to men um, singing, please don't go. So this person was very perhaps immature in the past, but through watching you at a distance, that secret admirer watching you, they've started to do their work. They started to do some introspective and reflective work. And now they're realizing that this is not where it's at. So they could be putting up guard. They could be very guarded, coming off guarded to whoever this person is there with, the karmic. And they are doing everything they can to keep this person that's attracted to you and is longing for you to stay with them. But it isn't working because your person is starting to receive messages from their higher selves, downloads. You know, they're starting to receive those divine interventions about the fulfillment of love, 
with you. You know, they're starting to see those synchronicities and have those sensations that there's something better out there. That this, whatever they're, they're stuck in, whatever the home is, they live with that person. You know, it's just, it's not a happy home. It's not a happy house. They're not a happy spouse. Something is dead. Something is done. Something is over. They live in their head 24-7 thinking of you. They live in their head remembering better times. Their ancestors are telling them, go after what you want. You know, you only have one chance, one time. And I feel what this person is starting to realize is that they have to be honest. You know, they have to be honest with themselves. And being honest with themselves is finally revealing to them the fool that they once were in juggling you and not going after what they truly want, not being daring and risking and, you know, willing to risk it all. This person has had to, you know, grow. They've had to, you know, transform even their own way of thinking, but they have deep regrets, you know, of how they may have mishandled you and this connection. And they're going to eventually muster up the strength to send that letter to let someone know that this connection isn't working for them. So the demise of a relationship has led someone to realize just how valuable you are. And I feel divine timing is always of the essence, you know, because we all, you know, have to work on ourselves. And I feel you also had to establish boundaries. You had to, um, you know, own your divinity of being that feminine energy, that, that powerful feminine energy that knows her worth, that loves that self. So this is a very beautiful reading and I feel you are attracting um, your divine counterpart. This is someone that's going to match your vibes, match your, your, your frequency, speak your love language. Um, they're just going to be on that same f energetic um, frequency as you. This is not someone that has broken your heart. Maybe they disappointed you in the past, but I don't feel that this was that individual that like literally stabbed you in the heart. Um, this is someone else that feels these deep emotions. And I feel you could potentially have other uh, love offers um, that could be coming in as well. But expect some sort of wish fulfillment, a stroke of luck, um, a answered play prayer, a blessing. Um, Irene has already said that, you know, there's nothing for you to worry about. Everything is working out in your favor. So divine timing is of the essence. Don't try to rush anything. Do your work. Um, you know, everything in moderation, don't, don't rush anything, uh, and don't take on too much either. Be sure to establish boundaries, um, and be sure to always communicate and express your feelings, express your truth. Um, someone is absolutely coming towards you though, uh, and they will be honest about how they feel. And I do feel that past person is going to try to come back to sabotage a connection, um, that they see as obviously um, on a higher scale, like it's, it's, it's a spiritual partnership as we saw earlier, because remember we had love partnership, relationship change and happy ending, you know? So someone definitely is feeling very emotional over you. And we have, um, uh, Faith Evans and Carl Thomas emotional. So someone's feeling emotional. You know, but don't let them emotionally manipulate you because remember you had that um, night of cups energy. So just be mindful to, you know, do your due diligence, see how things feel in your spirit. If it feels authentic, if someone feels like they're being honest and transparent and you want to open up and, you know, give them an opportunity to express themselves, then you could do it. But if you don't feel that, then, you know, remain guarded and say how you feel. Um, but don't feel obligated by any means to taking anyone back. You know, um, you could accept an apology, but you don't necessarily have to take anyone back because I don't feel any this person from your past, that ex that broke your heart has really done their work. I feel like they are going in the beginning stages of their dark night of the soul journey. They're going through karma. Um, they're having certain circumstances happen to them to kind of teach them. So I'm hearing I'm hearing the term teachable moment. And remember, we did have. Um, teaching and learning. So now they're going through the same process you've just come out of, but you're also attracting what you are and you're attracting someone who's also a healer, who's also been betrayed, backstabbed, deceived, lied to, but has also discovered what their love language is and the emotions and uh, attraction they feel towards you, the chemistry they feel towards you. 
But this is your reading, beloved Scorpios. Thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. If you found that the message has resonated, please be kind. Hit the like, share, and subscribe button. Definitely hit the bell notification so you know whenever I upload. If you are new, I hope you stay a while. If you are returning, you already know what it is, beloved. Love is love is love. Until next time, I send a big fat ashe. Peace.